Hello everyone, this is Mr. Schenkel. Today we're going to be going through the purple spelling group words. If you look at the top of your page, it should say purple spelling group, and it should also say week one. You might notice that the first five words on your page are going to be the exact same as the first five words for the blue group. I'm going to switch back and forth so you can see that these words are the same. We're going to be doing some work on the blue sheet to start off with, and I just wanted you to know that even though we're doing it on the blue sheet, these are your words. Okay, this week's focus sound is the digraph AI making the sound A, as in snail. The first word we're going to be doing is snail. Say snail. Good job. We're going to be working through this sheet for the word snail. So you can see that I said the word. Now I'm going to write it. Snail. Okay. The next job for us is to count the sounds. I want you to do this on your fingers with me. Each time we say a sound, we're going to put up a finger. Remember that the digraph AI is only one sound, even though it's being made by two letters. So we're only putting up a finger for a sound. Let's try it with snail. S, N, A, U. How many fingers do you have up right now? I have four, so I'm going to write four into this square here. The next step is to write each sound into its own square. S, N, A, I, L. You might have noticed that I put the digraph, A, I, into its own square together. This is because those two letters are working together to make one sound. And that one sound goes into its own square. The last part of this sheet is to find the tricky part. That's over here. The tricky part is different for every person. For this word though, I think the tricky part for me is AI. making the sound A. Okay, so the letters in this word are S, N, A, I, L. You might have noticed that when I was spelling that out to you, I put the A and the I together while spelling it. I want you to try this as well. Try it with me. S, N, A, I, L. Your turn by yourself now. Okay, good job. Okay, now that we're done with the word snail, we're going to move on to paint. Say paint. Good job. Paint is a liquid that we use to change the color of surfaces. Paint. Let's count the sounds in paint using our fingers. P, A, N, T. How many fingers do you have up right now? I have four. Okay. P, A, N, T. Paint. Let's spell out the letters now. P, a I N T. Notice that I said the sounds said the letters A and I together because they're working together to make one sound. You should do this too. Let's do it together again. P A I N T. Your turn. Good job. The next word is again. We're going to have to do all of that again. 
It's like saying we're going to do something twice. Let's count the sounds in again. A, g, a, n. How many fingers do you have up right now? I have four. Again is a word that can be said in a few different ways. And whichever way you say it is probably right. Let's go through these sounds again. A, g, a, n. Again. I tend to say it with an e eh sound for the AI, but saying it with the A from snail is also right. Again, 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 again. Now, we've counted up the sounds, it's time to spell out the letters. A, G, A, I, N. Your turn. Good job doing your best to put the A and the I together when you spell it out. The next word is train. Say train. Good job. A train is a very long re vehicle which runs on tracks. The sounds in train are t, r, a, n. Let's count them up. T, r, a, n. How many fingers do you have up right now? I have four. Good job. The sounds in train are t, r, a, n. Okay, now it's time to spell out the letters in train. T, R, A, I, N. Your turn. Good job. The next word is braid. Samantha had her hair in a braid. That's kind of like saying it was knotted together at the back of her head. Braid. The sounds in braid are b, br, a, d. Can we count those out? B, br, a, d. How many fingers do you have up right now? I have four. Let's um, write those sounds in b, br. A, D. Last step is to say those letters to spell them out. B, R, A, I, D. Your turn. Good job. Okay, for the rest of the purple words, instead of breaking up the whole word, we're just going to be saying the word and then saying the meaning. Can you say faint? Good job. Sometime when it's really hot, I feel like I need to faint, faint. The next word is trainer. Can you say trainer? Good job. Sometimes when I'm trying to learn a new sport, I need a trainer or someone to help me learn. This is mostly used about sports. Sometimes we might even say trainers for a kind of shoes. The next word is praise. Say praise. Good job. In some religions, people will say the word praise. And it's like give respect to and love, but it's mostly about a god. Praise. The next word is pain. Can you say pain? Pain is something that we feel in our body when we get hurt. When I stub my toe, that means kick it against a wall, I might feel pain in my toes. It's like being hurt. The last word is strained. Can you say strained? Good job. 
strained is something we also might say about injuries. While I was running, I stepped badly and I strained my ankle. It's kind of like tired out a lot. So for all of these words, you still have to put them in your sheet and break them up into their sounds, but we're going to be leaving that job to you. I'm sure that you'll do a great job and try your hardest. Best of luck.